Hello, everybody. This is Rebecca, the Alabama librarian. It's day 11 of self-imposed quarantine from COVID-19. Uh, big news in the neighborhood. There is a moving van outside. It feels like the 1950s when, like, all the housewives would be on the party line, like, oh, my gosh, Enid, did you see who's moving in down the block? Oh, my gosh, do you think they'll be nice? Like, it's so great. Not to make fun of the 1950s housewives named, named Enid. If that is you, um, I would love to make a new friend named Enid, so please comment. Thanks. Um, also, other news, I have begun to get up earlier every morning and start the day by walking down the hill to get the mail, which is a lovely way to start the day, especially if you're going to spend the rest of it inside. Um, a little fresh air, a little sunshine, uh, a little exercise, get to see what the flowering trees are up to outside. It's great, so I recommend it. I am starting to get my cruise from home plans in place. I embark tomorrow, so there's still time um, to get your suggestions on what I should do in the cruise in the comments. So far I have home pedicure, um, wearing a, my bathing suit on my balcony, which is not as scandalous as it sounds. You'll understand when you see my bathing suit. Um, drinking a fruity drink with a fancy piece of fruit on the side. Um, yeah, so still time. I got a couple other things on the list, but still time to leave your suggestions in the comments. I read an excellent piece today in the Washington Post called Sinead O'Connor is Still in One Piece. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll post a link in the description. A really great profile in resilience that I recommend to everyone. We are warming up for National Poetry Month in April over here. Uh, if you have any suggestions for daily poetry readings, please leave your, your suggestions in the comments. Lots of things you can leave in comments today. It's going to be great. To uh, kind of warm up for National Poetry Month, we're going to read a poem today. It's called Dear One Absent This Long While, and the author's name is Lisa Olstein. It has been so wet, stones glaze in moss, everything blooms coldly. I expect you. I thought one night it was you at the base of the drive, you at the foot of the stairs, you in a shiver of light. But each time, leaves in wind revealed themselves, the retreating shadow of a fox, daybreak. We expect you, cat and I, bluebirds and I, the stove. In May, we dreamed of wreaths burning on bonfires over which young men and women leapt. June efforts quietly. I've planted vegetables along each garden wall, so even if spring continues to disappoint, we can say at least the lettuce loved the rain. I have new gloves and a new hoe. I practice eulogies. He was a hawk with white feathered legs. She had the quiet ribs of a salamander crossing the old pony post road. Yours is the name the leaves chatter at the edge of the unrabbited woods. Once again, that was Dear One Absent This Long While by Lisa Oldstein. I'll post a link to it at the Poetry Foundation in the description. Friends, I love you all. I hope you have an excellent day. I hope you find a ways to make the weekend fresh and exciting from self-quarantine for yourselves and your families and your plague families, for lack of a better word, those you find yourselves isolated with. Um, once again, much love to you all. Mwah! Bye.